You might be wondering why your Windows 8 PC is slow. Um, with Windows 8 they've put a few more tools in there to make it easier to find out um, why your PC is running so slow. Um, to look at this you can either hit Control alt delete um, and then you can go to Task Manager as you can see here. Uh, alternatively you can right click if you're on a desktop on the taskbar down here and go to Task Manager. When you're in Task Manager what you're going to see is this Performance tab. Now this performance tab shows us what we need to see. Um, these are going to be the bottlenecks of your PC. So there's one limiting factor on your computer that's going to be making it go slow. Um, the CPU is your processor. So if you're trying to do a lot of things at once, um, it may be eating up your CPU. You'll see it'll be stuck at 100%. Um, you need to think about what you're doing at the time. Is it something you always do? If it's just normal activity and it's still maxing out, then it could be a program um, that's doing it. And you can look at your programs, I don't have any open at the moment, and you can sort them by CPU and see which ones are taking up the most. It might be your antivirus or something playing up, and you can stop them or change them accordingly. If you're not doing it and it's just an old PC, upgrading your processor, um, if you're capable of doing that, is um, going to sort this problem out, or upgrading your PC is going to sort it out as well. If you see your memory peaking, um, this is your RAM, um, so if you see this peaking, it could be because you've got lots open. So if you've got lots open, you may want to close them down. Um, this doesn't necessarily mean applications down the bottom. It could be background processes. Again, you can sort by memory on the processes tab and see what's taken up the most memory. Close them. Maybe change the applications if they're hogging all your memory. If that still doesn't work, you can upgrade your memory. Nowadays, memory is pretty cheap, so you can... Um, maximize that quite easily um, for quite a cheap cost and lots of videos on YouTube on how to upgrade your memory. Um, so moving on you've now got your discs. Um, conventional discs spin and sometimes they can even spin up to a certain speed and that's going to sometimes slow your PC down. Again if you see this right at the top um, it's going to slow your computer down. If you've got an old disc or if your disc is breaking this could be a sign of why your PC is slowing down. Um, if you've got the money invested in an SSD uh, the access times are a hell of a lot quicker. Um, technology is similar to the memory, um, and you won't see this ever peak. Uh, it'd be a lot, lot quicker. The last one is your your Ethernet here. Um, basically, this is your network connection. Um, if you're seeing this max out, it may be because what you're trying to access is over a network. So if you're in a work environment, all your files are over the network, and you max this out, um, you might need to upgrade your network card, or your switch, um, or your wireless signal might not be very good. Um, this is to do with your network, so it's not necessarily your PC power, but it's your network connection to whatever files you're trying to connect to. Using these together, you should be able to work out um, why your PC is slow. Again, as I said, you can sort from here to find out which one's taking up 100% or a high percentage of um, the usage on your PC. Um, and then you can, you can go from there to make your PC faster. Thanks for watching.